and welcome to the New School Kitchen. I'm Rai, and I'm interviewing my friend Audrea Simmons today. Yes, yes about <laughs> CBD hemp oil. I'm going to start by letting Audrea give her disclaimer so that we are totally legal in what we're doing today. <laughs> so basically, FDA has not reviewed my product, and it does not treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Everything we're saying today is anecdotal based on people's reports and research that has been done widely over the products that we're talking about. Okay, good. FDA not approved. Okay by me, but we need to say that. Okay, folks, so we're going to start out just super basic and, and ask Audrea, what exactly is the hemp plant? So the hemp plant actually falls under the cannabis umbrella. Okay. So we are still dealing with cannabis, but what makes it legal by the hemp bill, the Farmer's bill is that it is 0 0.30 THC or lower. Okay. So basically, there is a federal definition that now divides cannabis into two parts. Okay. So we are only dealing with the hemp part. We are only doing things legal here. There's a small amount of THC in the product, which is necessary for the CBD to be as effective as possible. Yes. But the hemp plant is not the same as a cannabis plant with high THC used for ingesting, smoking, eating um, to get a high. Correct. Okay, good. So now that we've gotten that part out of the way, what are the benefits of taking a high quality full spectrum hemp oil or what's been reported? So I have personal reports of people's inflammation being removed, mm -hmm. which is huge for pain, arthritis, muscle aches, joint pain, yeah. all those types of things. As you well know, an anti-inflammatory diet yes. along with a hemp product is going to, you know, exponentially remove inflammation out of your body. And this is so critical, you guys. Inflammation is at the bottom. My sister's a doctor. She always says it. The cause of disease is inflammation. Bottom line to her as a doctor, right? That's where we start. Um, and so we're talking about even depression and anxiety now. We're showing inflammation on the brain as the cause there and an excess inflammation in the body. Inflammation is a natural process of the body that is healthy and we have just too much of it going on these oh, absolutely. days. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And because our diet, our toxins and our food. Our air, our water, our, our soil. Things that you cannot control even if you wanted to. So yeah. now we have something that we can add to our cannabinoid system. It's a natural system in our body okay. that is designed to receive cannabinoids from hemp plants. Well, so let's just go right to that then. Can you explain the endocannabinoid system? That's the word absolutely. I keep hearing. And I have a picture. Hopefully I can Ooh, show it to you fun. because that is the best way to explain it. Okay. Um, we here up here are these receptors in our brain. Okay. And down our spine. So that's the map of the body here. Mm -hmm. Oh, over here. Sorry, <laughs> and backwards on this there. That's why it's hard. And those receptors cover all the cells and they receive the cannabinoids. As you can see in between them, the little dots are cannabinoids and terpenes and flavonoids and chlorophyll that we get from the hemp plant. Wow. And so this sends the signal to the brain over here that the things that the cells need to be doing, over 400 things in our body that the cells need information to do. And if they don't receive that information, they just sit dormant. And that's when inflammation can overtake those things because there's no information telling the cells to operate. So now we have a plant with an amazing structure of cannabinoids so similar to what our body makes. Okay. And now we can put that into our body and feed huh. those. Receptors. So there's a receptor. It's like a, a, an open plug that needs yes. something plugged into it. And look at how many are concentrated in the brain and the gut. Yes. So we, guys, notice this brain and gut, lots and lots of receptors. Very interesting. So the nice thing, and this has been researched by a doctor in Israel, okay. Raphael Masholem. So this is not based on anything I've done. I'm just telling you research that I've found. So, um, and then it's exciting because there's actually three receptors. Most people know about two. Okay. The third receptor receives raw cannabinoids. So we'll learn why that's so important in my product later, but the raw cannabinoids can be converted to what the body needs. Wow. So that's what the third receptor's responsibility for is CB1, CB2 receives CBD or THC or CBG, which are all different forms of cannabinoids. Okay. If you picture this as the hemp plant right here and some of the properties in the hemp plant that we can use to benefit those receptors, the middle portion here is the cannabinoids where I okay. said CBD, yep. CBG, yep. and whatnot. And then we have like um, CBDA and THCA. That is the raw cannabinoids when it has the A on the end. Got it. A lot of companies are removing the A, the acid. 
but I try to leave some in my product as yeah. much as I can and with it still giving your body benefits we want to feed that third receptor I love that possible. I love the idea of everything included there's so many products out there supplements and whatnot where they say oh look broccoli is amazing so we took just the one part of broccoli, pulled it out of the plant and concentrated it and a lot of times when we find right. from a nutrition standpoint you just need to eat the whole plant the way it was put on the planet and right. I think that well, translates here better yeah, yeah. so I've tried with a way a method of processing that gets us as close to the plant and oil as we can okay i did try eating it it's really dry it's really hard to eat so this is really the best way to wow. get a concentrated whole product okay and that's what's hand. represented here <laughs> all of the parts of the hemp plant are included in this product so that when you find a cbd product it may just be See? Yeah. that's it here they're just ripping this out and putting it in oil yep and that's the isolated compound when then you're missing all of this fun stuff. Got so it. Um, this is what's full spectrum about uh -huh. the plant. Right. Got and it. then then we also have the terpene, which also hit the receptors in the brain and the gut. And you can rub my product on topically. So huh. we have, you know, the skin is an organ that has these receptors and it will go some subcontinuously. So that's wonderful. Um, that's and awesome. The chlorophyll. A lot of people are ripping out the chlorophyll because it makes it taste worse mm -hmm. um, or stronger. Some people love the taste. I so, do. yeah. And I've learned to love it. I hated it <laughs> at yeah. first, but now my body craves it because it's like, oh, I need that. And my memory is improving. Prevention has been my biggest plus from using it, I feel like. Mood mostly for me, a little less irritable to the people I love <laughs> um, at home. Oh. And I've got to say, and we'll talk about dosing, I've used it a few times on my 10-year-old when he's kind of raging out, and it's like instant. Mm -hmm. He And he, he doesn't necessarily mm -hmm. notice, but it's like, Hi, do you notice, Miles? We're like having a conversation now, and you're not so angry at me. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like <laughs> it works. And we and I've, yeah, and I've personally seen a child that had self harming, oh wow, things, and he'd start hitting himself, and he would get dosed. And I mean, in two minutes, he was a different child. It was wonderful. That is amazing. Yeah, and it's just brought a lot of peace to that home. Yeah, I bet. And, so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is medicine for the body, for the mind, because when our bodies and minds are 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 in pain. It, 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 the spirit can't fly, right? Mm -hmm. In my in my experience too. And so when we can find that peace in our bodies and our minds, I feel like there is that component to this plant that has been a spiritual experience for me, taking it a few times. I mean, I, I feel a connection to the plant, as crazy as that might sound. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So I want to show yeah. off Audrea's product here. This is Bethesda Hemp. And I will pass this around to the ladies in the room as well so they can see it. Will you explain the word cherry there on the bottom? Yeah, that is the strain of hemp that I am using. Okay. And the strains all have, like we were talking about here, each strain has its own profile of cannabinoids and its own profile of terpene. So it's not cherry flavored, yeah. but it's a cherry strain. <laughs> and in speaking about flavor and, and Audrea's product and the reason I'm aligning with this product, I'm doing this interview because I'm going to start distributing the Bethesda hemp oil. I believe in it that much and have felt it and I have got all my clients on it and everybody's coming back to me like, this stuff's amazing, um, is because of the purity of your product and because it's not mixed with a bunch of flavors and other stuff. Um, sometimes, uh, a lot of times, um, flavors will be added to cover up what is a pretty bitter plant taste. Um, and I just, it's like food for me. Like, why are we adding in all this other stuff? I want the purest version of it to go in my body and be the medicine. So that's what I've experienced with your product, the purity um, and that chlorophyll under the tongue, but it's a small amount and yeah. I've come to enjoy it. Yeah, I have to. <laughs> I hated it. Personally, I hated it at first, but when my body knows it's getting what it needs, it will yes. tell you to yes. feed it more, and that's wonderful for me. Even when I would have typically said I'm pretty healthy, I don't need it. Sure. I just had done so much research. I was like, this is preventative for me. Yes. I can't really say that it prevents anything, but yes. knowing how it works in my cannabinoid system, I don't see how I couldn't benefit. Yes. And now my memory is improving, and I've tested it. I've played with it a few really? weeks. Just make sure. Okay, I'm just taught. Yeah, I know. And sure enough, I was off of it for a week and I you started to get in the brain fog yes. and the the irritability and figure out what the word was for that product or that thing that I wanted my kid to do and that's just yes. whatever it was. And yeah. Yeah. So I noticed so I did that for a couple of months just to make sure and sure enough my memory is better mm. when I'm on it. Who couldn't stand a little bit of a better memory, huh? <laughs> How do you make it? So, so it's this gorgeous oil. I'm going to open one, and this will be mine. Absolutely. If you're okay with that. Sure. Um, it's kind of sealed in a bottle here. This is one ounce. 
bottle. Um, and we're going to get into doses. This lasted me like three months. That's wonderful. That's my, my goal, my hope. Is it, that is. it would last long enough. People can afford it and stay on it long term. And you probably need to shake that one up. Shake it? Yeah. Okay. How much does that bottle cost? This is a $95 product right here. And that's actually on par or a little less expensive than a lot of the less. full spectrum hemp oil that I've seen mm -hmm. out there. Usually priced around $125 for what so I'm seeing. $150 yeah. for 1,000 milligrams, which is what I make sure it's 1,000 milligrams or more. And as I am a naturally herbal product, I cannot, I'm not, I'm not compounding it down and then measuring exactly. Yeah. So I just make sure it's over a thousand. Okay. So sometimes you're going to get a thousand, sometimes yes, you're going to get 1100, <laughs> 1500. And, uh, so if it's, if it's right close to a thousand, I put an extra milliliter in there. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Thank we you. Can't do that on that's the thing. But if it's like around 1100, mm -hmm. then I make sure it's right there. Yeah. So how do you? Milligrams, mm -hmm. milligrams. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thousand milligrams. Yes. Good, good question. question. How do you make it? I'm so curious about the processing. Okay, so my process is very different. Out of 100 bottles, mine might be the only one out of 100 that is processed this way, but mm -hmm. I put the hemp straight into the oil. I let the oil do a lot of the work. I let low temperature and time and a lot of washing the pot. So, because okay. we don't want it to boil, not yes. in our case, we don't want to, yeah. because like I said, I want those raw cannabinoids. In there. Okay. So you're so. extracting the, the medicine from the plant by immersing right. it in warm oil and letting that medicine come the out into the oil, the which we then ingest. Yes. Essentially. Yes. Are you pressing it? And then I press all yep. the plant matter out. Yes. Amazing. So I'm a big old press. <laughs> and it's a lot of fun sometimes. It's a lot of work, but I love it because I like to spend time with it and I like to pray over it actually. Oh, <laughs> that's so beautiful <laughs> though. I mean, I think that's so really different think it's from a being gift. on an assembly line somewhere. Then, yeah. So. Well, and this is why I'm aligning with Audrea. She is a local mom. She has kids. So this is, you know, her work in the world. Um, this is not a multi-level marketing company. There is no middle person here. She is simply making this product and distributing it in the community and hearing this incredible feedback. And I felt really good about aligning with her because of that. Um, and then there's nothing else in here. I mean, if you read the label, it's just hemp extract, olive oil, grape seed oil, and hemp seed oil. Yep, that's it. That's Let's it. Keep it simple, baby. <laughs> Oils and plant. Yeah. Um, and so I'm going to take a dose. Let's talk about dosing, and then I'd like to take a dose and just Okay. So um, I talk. can't recommend a dose. You have to discover for yourself what works for your body. Okay. I have had customers report this method works one drop every 40 minutes. Record how many drops it takes. Record how many drops it takes until what? So you have relief. So you have relief. Yeah. Just Mm -hmm. Maybe so you, you feel, feel a shift calm, in the pain some more, or yeah. Calm down. Some people notice right away that the thoughts stop moving. Okay. Some people that's actually kind of like, oh, what's happening? Yeah, I get like, yeah. oh, I feel everything like, oh, kind of calms down. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. And uh, for some people, it's just the general mood. So one drop, not one drop of yeah, full. Yeah, so like <laughs> one drop. To, yeah, so the little cut, like the very tip in, it looks like a cone. To me, that's what I consider a drop. Right in the end there. Right. Is your CBD oil, good question, Candace, and I have this on the, the agenda for later, tested by an independent lab? Absolutely. Absolutely. So this wouldn't do it any other way. <laughs> okay. So I use NCR Labs. They're okay. in Massachusetts Cannabis Research. Okay. Um, I have one of them here. No. I will post here. all yeah. of these, by the way, on the so, New School Kitchen um, Bethesda Hemp product. And if you need information how to read it, like this is by the milliliter, so you take it times 30 for the whole bottle. And um, there's some division to go on to figure out the THC level, but it's 0.003. I've already done that division for you, THC. So yes, lab tested. So you're making sure that that THC really is, is where right. it needs to yeah. be to be a legal product, be legal. right? Okay, good. So I'm going to take it. Actually, I ran out of my bottle a few weeks ago, so I'm really <laughs> excited to take it. Um, and uh, what Audrea said, if you guys recall, one drop every 40 minutes until you feel relief. I got to about four to six drops, and that felt like my dose, somewhere right. around four to six drops. You want to be intuitive with this plant, any plant, really. And... <clears throat> I set an intention when I take this plant, just like Audrea prays over her product. For me, I put it under my tongue and I take that moment to just get quiet and connect and thank the plant. Just like you might thank your food, you know, bless the food. I do the same thing with this product and this plant um, and set a little intention, you know, ask it to 
um, help me heal or have a clearer day or connect with my husband or whatever it is that I'm struggling with. So I'm going to take a, about a drop under the tongue or two or three, and I'm going to hold it for a couple of seconds. I don't know if that's part of the process for anyone else. Yeah. If you hold it you're under your soft tissue, the more, the more it's going to get in your blood system, which is where cannabinoids are stored okay. in the body. So there is something so, to that, mm -hmm. keeping it under the tongue. It. Oh my gosh. It's, I'm not making this up. It's instantaneous. There's like a wash of calm that comes over me. Yeah, it's a warm, it's like warm water or something. Like something just goes like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> lovely. I love it. <laughs> yeah, really lovely. Okay. One of the questions that came in prior to the interview is once I find my dose, is this the, the kind of thing where I dose, you know, once or twice a day or just when I'm feeling pain and feeling anxious, right? If I don't feel pain or anxiety every day. Yeah, but I thought pain was something that you want to stay in. Ah, oh, that's a thought. So, so someone like, with some chronic pain is saying, stay in front of that pain. You would take it every day, twice a day, right? She said, day. or four I times do. a day. Do. You too. Do. And then I know some people that say, no, I just, that's like my social anxiety thing, right? I just take I it before I go out so I feel yeah. calmer. Yeah. What do you think about that? So I think that it's, it's key to follow what your body tells you. Mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how to take it. So you're going to have to really play with Tune it, in. but be free mm -hmm. to. I think yeah. that's the key is because you know, you could drink the whole bottle. You're not going to go to the hospital, but you're also not going to get the best benefit that way. Yes. Low and slow is key. Yes. Take your time with it. Play with it. I can report that some customers take it an hour before bed mm -hmm. to help them go to sleep. Some people find mm -hmm. that energizes them. So they take yeah. it in the morning. Interesting. Have those kind of reports. Mm -hmm. So different. We're all so different. different. It's amazing. Some people it's just need it once a day. Keep the inflammation away. Some people do it two or three times a day okay. when everyone's in severe pain. Okay. So, yeah. So tune in and listen to your body, just like with food stuff, guys. Tune in and listen to your body. Will it show up on a drug screen? I got this question a lot. We've got some city and county employees here who get drug screened. What is the what's the word on that? The hospital, I think, just put out a memo to everyone in town saying, please be careful about your CBD oil because right. it will show up on our tests. Mm -hmm. Right, so you can get a false positive just from CBD. So if anybody out there is guaranteeing you that you will pass the test, they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Just plan out. It's just, it's impossible to promise you that you will pass the test. Got it. But the large majority of people do. I've had several people mm. on my product that has, I like this one says 1.2 milligrams of THC yeah. per milliliter. Yeah. But most people aren't taking a milliliter, so they're not getting that much a day. Got and it. So it takes 30 days to clean out. Yes. So by the time you're on day 30, your day one's cleaning out of your body. So Got you're it. getting very little. And, but at the same time, it is there. Even if somebody is selling you the CBD only product, it is still derived from a hemp plant. Mm -hmm. you know. If it's legal, if it's, it's still going to have yeah, some THC. So it's still going to have some THC. And if it's not legal, it's going to have a higher THC where they derived it from. So you want to make sure your product's coming from a hemp plant, hemp pilot program. Okay, so oh, yeah. be careful. Yeah, yeah and so we can't, uh, Andrea cannot make a guarantee that it will not show up on a drug test. That's right. Um, good, so that's really clear. Another dosing question that came in before was, um, what's the, how long does it last in the body? Any idea? So the half-life of CBD is 24 to 48 hours. Huh. So that part will go pretty quickly. So if you ever get in a place where you feel like you took too much, it's yeah. one of those things where you could wait a couple wait of it days out. and yeah. try again, you know? Yeah. So that's not a problem. And the and just just real quick back to the thing there, you know, you can also request if you don't pass a urine test, you can request for a blood test to see okay. how much. But if your employer is coming to you telling you, hey, don't do this, you might want to consider that. And I know the laws are kind of confusing, so we're right to work state. Yeah. But then we also have laws that say, you know, you you can't be fired for a legal substance. So you've really got to consider where you want what battles you want to fight. Wow. Well, <laughs> so that's good. good I wish point. it was better. And I think we should still continue to ask for better laws because we all have a legal substance and we should be protected to take those things. Yeah. So uh, let's keep uh, working towards We that. got questions in here too. Go ahead, studio audience. Does it help for glaucoma at all? So oh I God. had a lady that used my product and she was not expecting anything. She wasn't even thinking about glaucoma, but she went into the office they tested her and they said your glaucoma's down you're like you don't have it the anymore. pressure is down 
and they she's been on the the what they drops. prescribed the for drops. her that's not helping she had been me. on it for two years yeah i've been on it for five it years only it only lowered it like three or four points and they were kind of happy with that and then they were oh, like whoa what's, what's going on you know, kept going down coma. Oh, I need it. Um, yeah. One of the reports I've heard is women just oh, okay. losing fibroids that have been in their uterus for a long time, oh, wow. like just passing them. That's awesome. Yes. I haven't heard that one personally on my product. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And, and hormone regulation. What's your question? Well, I missed what you were talking about. Um, I know it was 30 days to clear out of your body, but you were talking about something 24 to 48 hours. What was that? And so it's 30 days for the THC to clear out for a drug test. Okay. If you're being drug tested, but the 24 to 48 hours is how long the medicinal properties of the plant yeah, are in your system, so. right? It will stay yeah. in your system 30 yeah. days for THC at least and CBD 24 to 48 hours. And how we assure, how we make sure that it's low is before I buy any hemp, I make sure to get the reports from the farmer, the certificate of analysis from them to make sure I'm buying a legal product and right. that it has been approved by their state, by their hemp pilot program state, get a pesticide report Great. from them, make sure that my product is quality. Right. And then after I'm done making the product, I get one of these and it tells me how much THC is there. I take this mm -hmm. number and divide it by that number and that gives me the 0 .003. I am going to be distributing Bethesda hemp hemp oil, um, and that's what this interview is kicking off here. This is a locally made, locally owned business and agreement with Audrea and I. This is not a multi-level marketing company like a, right. a, a lot of the oils that you're seeing come out on the market right now. Um, nobody else is benefiting in in this. Um, nice. I think we talked about this. We got a $95 bottle here. Um, and you said that's about 20% lower than, than most thousand milligram products. And I know it. I know. Labeling is confusing because yes. I'm trying to stay in accordance with the law and the law is kind of gray in this area. Nobody mm -hmm. said you have to do it this way. Lawyers and even talk amongst themselves like, no, you need to label it this way. No, you need to label it mm -hmm. that way. If you need to know, get the COA because that's where the real numbers are going to be. Okay. I'm trying to stay ahead of the game with my labeling. So it does change every so often, but just only as I can really get some better information as we go and we are asking for that information great so what do you really want us to put on the sure label? i love that another question just came in that i think is good where are the farms that you're buying your hemp from so right now it's kentucky and i will i've made i've really forged a great friendship with my kentucky farmer and they're really supportive and they're really like very family oriented oh. i love my farmers we've been up there We've seen the farm. It's lovely. And I have started some relationships with Carolina farmers. Right. So I do want to do local, but it is a long process to do all of this yes. because we have to get our registration. We have to get our license. We have hurricanes that came and took out people's crops. Yes. So we weren't able to get our first local grown. And um, we have to do testing and we have to make sure it's a good product. So we are loving trying to grow our industry here, but I'm always going to maintain that Kentucky farm friendship and you know good people that I really love want that product. but that's what it's all about that you respect each other as business people you have this amazing you know mm -hmm. agreement with each other mm -hmm. and it's more more small businesses benefiting here yes ma'am is that the only size bottle you have mm -hmm. yes so <laughs> lately I just that's asked us you know is that the only size I have I considered at first I tried some different strengths and whatnot, but for me really it came down to my mission, my goal was to provide an affordable product for customers so they can maintain taking this for a long time. Yes. And the best way to do that was to make it the thousand milligrams because it was the best price point. It ensures that you can take it long enough that you know if it's going to benefit you or yeah. not. If you are local, I want you to go to Tidal Creek Co-op to buy your products. Um, I am an owner here. I was on the board for five years here. This is where I've sent all of my local people and that's where I want you to go if you're local. Title Creek wants your business. Hey, if you're an owner, you get 10% off once a month. That's, yeah. the, that's the day to go buy your hemp oil, right? 10% ain't bad for a $95 product. But I will be listing this product on my website for those of you that don't live locally and want me to ship the product to you. Um, and it's also a way to share with friends and family. I only want to do it if somebody I know and love is doing it and I trust their recommendation. So this is a product to share with friends and family through the link that well, I will provide for you as soon as this interview is over. You need some reinforcement and support Absolutely. around the product. What you're getting when you buy from this is 
I message this girl at like midnight and be like, one of my clients wants to know if this is, you know, <laughs> if she can do this, that, or the other thing, or if it's safe in pregnancy and all these things. And she's always getting back to me quickly. She stands behind her product. She always has an answer. Um, and we will support you as you continue to support Bethesda Hemp. Yes. And we're thrilled to have people just come back with so many great reports, people getting out of bed when they weren't. Yes. getting out of bed before that's been yes. one of my tears cancer <laughs> cancer nausea Happiness and, yeah yes. rough experiences with cancer have a pet and opiates are coming off of wow so i know about like taking supplements and stuff like that they always say confer with your doctor first is that something you recommend absolutely talk to your talk doctor, to your doctor. so lady yep. asked you recommend talking to your doctor you absolutely a, talk to your doctor FDA is not approved it's <laughs> and one thing that is very important so i do have a disclaimer if you have drugs that you're taking that says do not eat grapefruit with it please be very cautious with this okay okay i'm putting on here that you don't take it but you can talk to your doctor so this is going to act similarly with a blood pressure yes, medication. Yes, it can drop your blood pressure. It sure. can drop your blood pressure. Sure. So if you're on blood pressure medications, just be careful and consult with your doctor. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. I didn't know that That's part. Really so I have some people that take this and do not take blood pressure medication. Okay. I've had some people that on their own have switched, but it's always safest to go with your doctor. And if yeah. you want to give your doctor my information, I would be glad to cool. talk to them. Let's I'm see if we can get the doctors thought, telling their yes. people to take this plant. Wouldn't that so, be wonderful? Uh, I know we got laughed in here. So I someone wants a... to know, when did you first start selling your product? How long have you been on it's the market? It's been here? almost two years now. And um, I started, you know, just by word of mouth with friends and testing right before the hurricane, actually, I got into Tidal Creek and then so it's been really exciting to have a broader audience and see more people get the benefit. Amazing. And, uh, this lady met me in a coffee shop to give me my bottle when I got it the, for the first time just because I wanted to ask these questions. So she's committed to the product. Another good question. What's the difference between something like this and copaiba oil? I don't know if you all are familiar with copaiba oil. It's not from the hemp plant. It's from a completely different plant from right. what I understand. Okay. So what I understand, because when I first started, I was like, copaiba is better then CBD and I, so I really had to research it if something didn't quite go with me, like that's okay. But you know what, the oil, especially when you're getting an essential oil, you're really getting All the stuff on the bottom. paraphylene okay. from Copa, and yeah, um, right here. And you're getting the terpene from that plant. Okay. So yes, it has a compound that your CB receptors will receive that, but it is not CBD. Mm -hmm. So the structure, the compound structure is different together. I think they can work synergistically mm -hmm. together really well, but they're going to hit your CB receptors differently. So to say that one can replace the other, I think is a misnomer, but okay. to say that one is better than the other is also a misnomer mm -hmm. because it's going to hit different things. So if you get the relief you need from copaiba, that's great. Mm -hmm. But I can really see that one concern I have is that because it is essential oil, mm -hmm. they are solvents. And if you're taking that under your tongue mm -hmm. a lot, you're risking hurting your esophagus tissue if you're taking a lot of it. Whereas mm -hmm. you can get the CBD, you can get some of these as an extract that is a full extract and not an essential oil. So we're not in yeah. the solvent area. Yeah. So, There's a difference big time, yeah, between a solvent and a, an extract is what she's saying. And so listen to your body, right? If the copaiba is working for you, awesome. Um, I use it as well, um, but I am more careful with taking the oils internally now after doing some reading. Even as a super sensitive person, I develop sensitivities quickly. And I've um, talked to a lot of people in these online groups that say, I was taking the stuff, essential oils under my tongue every day, and I grew sensitive to it because my body started to reject it. And I love essential oils, but just being really careful there um, and understanding this is an extract of a pure whole plant, not a concentration of 10,000 pounds of lavender. Right. And so it's not a terpene. Drop. Essentially, yes. essential oils are ter concentrated terpenes. And as I did my research, because I wanted to like, you know, to make it really taste really cool and fun, but the more I researched it, the more I realized, man, I'm just placing cannabinoids. Mm -hmm. I might be putting people at risk with essential oils because they don't know how much they're taking and yep. they could be putting holes in your esophagus. So yep. that was the answer became no pretty clearly. Okay, <laughs> good. Great <laughs> question out there. Okay, so our endocannabinoid system, I don't know if I said this earlier, is actually making cannabinoids and feeding those receptors. I didn't know that. 
so Raphael Mashalem in Israel, he believes that every ailment starts with a deficiency in our cannabinoid system. Hmm. So actually over there, they kind of address the cannabinoid system first in Israel and other countries. Cool. So I think personally that kind of, after really reading some European journals and whatnot, for me, it became like, I felt very centered that every, everyone in my family needs to be on this product. Just is it preventative? You know, just to make sure that if there's a deficiency, I look forward to the day we can test and be like, hey, you're deficient in these cannabinoids. Yes. Like, you yes. Know, we can do more research and we can know yes. more and we can like really. But for you, from a but, baseline standpoint, right. it's like, okay, first line of defense. Yeah. This, this right. And then let's be. build the nourishment <laughs> yeah, and, and the other supplements things. and all the yeah. other things. Yeah. So when the receptors are all plugged in, yeah. mm -hmm. then we can right. do even better and more right. the nourishment will and, in your body. You know, that makes just sense. how I understand it even now, it's like, okay, because now my cannabinoid system is sufficient. I'm using vitamin D better. I'm my hormones are working mm. better. And I've been so. trying to reduce inflammation by reducing stress using this product. And I'm so much calmer. Excellent. Oh, We've got a report on Bethesda hemp. Someone says I've come off RA meds since using CBD oil. Wow. And my rheumatologist is totally on board. That's great. That's a specialty doctor there. That's awesome. Yeah. Share his name for those of us who need a rheumatologist. <laughs> Any negative either. side effects? Um, I think if you take too much of it, your body can start not wanting to make its own so low and slow I okay think. low yeah. and slow it's not about this isn't like pounding a bunch of vitamin c when you've got a cold or something right. you want to be really intentional like we talked about with your dosing um listen to your body tune in take that drop notice has something shifted for me and then take another one 40 minutes later until you get to your dose and get that relief um for dosing kids same idea i think so start with a drop and then ask <laughs> I, them do yeah, you my still son, want to punch mommy well, my children even know their bodies now they do it, and they'll come and ask me for it they'll know when you know wow that is, is so cool and their stomach hurts focus i did notice that child. for me yeah. yeah a little bit more focus ability to just bring myself yeah. to focusing and what about pets Oh, I have had great, wonderful reviews from people using it with their pets. Really? There's nothing in here that should hurt your pet. Okay. I researched every oil that I use. Great. Um, so, so a drop in the pet's food or water. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here to both my virtual audience and our studio audience of lovely ladies. And thank you, Andrea, so much You're for welcome. sharing not just this information, but believing in this plant mm -hmm. and this product and doing the work to bring it to Wilmington and the greater community here. I can't wait to distribute it. I can't wait for you people to get well. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, so Thank much. You. That was fun. Yes.